This episode is about directing your subject. It is one of the harder parts of photography, however, it's one of the most fun to learn. I think the most important thing that you have to know about directing your subject is they will do 99% of the work for you. If you set the environment and you have a particular point of view and you bring them into that environment, you will almost certainly be setting them up for success from the very beginning. In this case, I wanted to have deliberate, strong, fierce body positions. However, rather than tell someone, come in and stand with your legs like this and your arms like this, I bring them into the environment and I tell them key words. And in this case, I said, fierce, strong, project, control, you're in control. And I let the people take that first. So sometimes people might over-exaggerate what they're doing and that's okay. Let them go to that place and then as they've gone a little too, too much for you, you can say, oh, you know what, that's fantastic. Now bring your arm down. I find that micro-moving is the best way to dial in a photograph. And by micro-moving, I mean that when you see a photograph and it's almost there, don't let the fact that one arm is out too far really bug you. Just take the photograph and get it set and then say to the person, going back to the idea of the notion of using your voice is very important, say, everything is fantastic. Bring your arm slightly down, your right arm slightly down. The more specific you can be, remembering that you get flipped around as you give directions, your left is their right. Say, so bring your right arm slightly closer. That's great. Bring your, and then bring your chin slightly up. That's fantastic. So when I direct the subject, I really bring them into the environment. I tell them what I'm trying to accomplish and I let them go as far as they can with the move. I then get my camera set to find what I think looks great. And then those last little nuances, that last little piece that makes the difference is about telling someone that their hand's too far out. A lot of people when they carry anxiety in their body, they will actually have fingers that start to project. That is one of the most common things that I see. Um, we all apparently do it. So it's very simple to say, just with your hand, relax your hand. Don't criticize the person and say, you know, your hand looks terrible. Simply say, uh, your hand is, uh, just relax it, take it close to the body, and that makes them concentrate for that moment on the hand and they can do it. It also can help with a facial expression if you're seeing a lot of tension. You can say, everything looks fantastic. Relax your face, drop your chin a little. So directing your subject is really an emotional skill. It's a human skill. It's about nuance and it's about letting the scene set up and then controlling the small bit. So let the person do the work for you and then dial that last bit in yourself. This subject's really important. So I fully expect to have long conversations with you. So please feel free. Um, we'll jump in on the comments and we will have a conversation about this. Thank you.